Welcome to Jink Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jink. And I'm going to be continuing to play Doom Ape. Been such a wild ride. Uh, we had one match where we were hit for weakness, uh, and one match where we were hitting for weakness. So maybe we'll just have a normal match this time. We've kind of had the two extremes. Let's fall in the middle this time. But uh, we'll see what we have. Uh, I mean, even if we were playing against Lugia V Star we would be hitting into resistance and struggle there. But, uh, I would be excited to play against Lugia V-Star. Uh, just being able to do so much damage with Annihilate sounds so much fun against Lugia V-Star. Uh, so, our opponent won the coin flip. Most likely they will be going first, yes. Uh, that is exactly what we expect. So hopefully we can start with Hisuian Decidueye and use that single energy attack to search for cards. That's really the best thing about starting Hisuian Decidui. Uh, we start off with Squovet. Ouch! <laughs> Possibly the worst thing to start with. A lonely, lonely, lonely Squovet. Uh, we'll see what he can do. It can do. Um, we do have an Avery. Ooh, Skrelp. Is this a point? Is this the poison deck I've wanted to build? Oh, is it? I'm so excited to see what deck this is. Oh, boy. Okay, didn't really think about Hasun Samurat V. Um, that's Grass Week. We got Umbreon Grass Week, but Skrelp's Fighting Week. I don't think that's really going to come in, though. Uh, wow, did they get three? Three Battle VIP Pass. I couldn't even get one nest ball. <laughs> oh man, and they had a nest ball. <laughs> How much consistency is in their deck? This is insane. Or it's just like a really good start or something. I don't know. Uh, I get a man key, so I got that going for me, I guess. We're going to play down Avery and ruin their start here. Oh man, I'd be so frustrated if I was them. <laughs> um, we do have a nest ball. That's actually pretty legit. Um, so we're getting Nest Ball for Decidueye V here, and Gutsy Pickaxe, and really just hope. Hope that we, nope, we didn't get a Fighting Energy, sadly, uh, because I wanted to basically get Squivet out of the active and use this, uh, Hunt, uh, Mountain Hunt, that, that's the name of it, attack, which I, I guess we're not going to get to do, but we will Mezugoza, and if we get heads, which we didn't, so, oh well. Um, I do want to so badly use Squovet right now. We have two Bruno. It makes very little sense to do that right now, but we might hit a switch. I just think it's such a bad move. I would Ultra Ball away the two Bruno first. I just can't. I just can't. I can't. If they poison us, Bruno doesn't work. That's the issue right now. If they poison us, Bruno doesn't work. They have to deal damage. They can't just poison. That's going to hurt real bad. Um, they do have Umbreon V. Umbreon V has a gust uh, ability when it evolves into V Max. Samara V Star just came out. Uh, they've got put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. Help clean up some KOs there. Yeah, they just evolved evolved and they're doing the uh really bad poison that um it's like eight yeah during pokemon checkup it's like eight and uh yeah so we will see top decking a double turbo is a pretty big deal though if i do say so uh mezagoza what do we get with mezagoza heads i'm gonna grab the v star nope the v star there we go. Because it does have that ability, uh, Star of Fortune, that lets us um, draw up until we have eight cards. So we're going to first play Bruno, empty our hand a little bit. I can Ultra Ball away this Decidueye. Uh, uh, Decidueye. Uh, Hisuian Decidueye. Holy cow. And bring out a Badoof. A Badoof. We've got, what, one energy in the discard? I don't really want to use my energy recycler right now. I might need to take some big KOs, though. Alright, fine. I'll use it right now. I don't like that, but I did it. Hope you're happy. 
the imaginary person I'm talking to. Um, so we got another man key. That's cool. Heavy ball, always a good thing. Uh, we prize one, but barrel. Okay, okay. Prizes are reasonable. Two nest ball. Holy cow. So gutsy pickaxe. Ooh, and we hit the fighting energy. We can put that on the man key there. Uh, we played a brew. We got rare candy. That's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this KO here. And we don't need to discard anything. We're already doing enough to get the KO. So that's one prize card for one prize card. There we go. Nest ball. That'll help us get another man key out and just continue working on getting our Annihilates going. Umbreon V coming out into the active is interesting. I don't think the VMAX has a single energy attack. The V does. Uh, just I can't retreat. That's not that big of a deal, though. So, and they don't even have an energy for it. They do hit heads, though. They've got three Skrulps in the discard, though. So, maybe they play Thornton or something like that, but I kind of doubt it with this deck. And they give up. Avery. Avery got us the win. That's what won us the game. It wasn't getting the Hisuian Decidui going and drawing all those cards. Honestly, it was the Avery in the beginning. They set up their bench beautifully with three battle VIP pass on turn one, even discarding a Nest Ball with an Ultra Ball. And that Avery just came in and completely destroyed what they were doing. They couldn't even gust around the Squivet, which... I mean, maybe that would have helped them. It probably would have kept them in the game a little bit longer. But the, their hand was just destroyed by the end of their... Uh, what was that? Their third turn? It was their third turn, I think. Uh, yeah. Avery won us the game. That's what you're probably going to see in the thumbnail is Avery. Not Decidueye, not Annihilate, but Avery. Maybe I'll throw Annihilate in there somewhere. I love that Pokemon. I love that man key finally got a stage two. It is so cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very quick game. Uh, I was very excited to see what they had built. I I oh I look at that that scroll, uh, Durluge or something like that. I forget the evolve form name um, right now. Even though I just played against it, um, but doing the eight between checkup. Plus the two from the Hisuian Sneasler Radiant. Um, that's 100 damage between turns. And that's a serious amount of damage. Like if they poison Hisuian Decidueye V and I don't get out of the active, it's KO'd by the time it's my next turn. Like that is how serious that attack is. So yeah, I was really interested to see what their deck was. It seems like it's a little cluttered. Um... You know, you can be the judge of that. There's a reason why you don't see me play a lot of Battle VIP Pass, because I am not that lucky. <laughs> I am not as lucky as him. Uh, but, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of what I do here. And join the Discord where you can help me build decks and we can talk Pokemon and whatever else you guys want to talk about. And, of course, until next time, Keep playing jank.